What advice would you give to companies looking to become suppliers or contractors for NASA? Sure. Yeah, I get that question a lot because it's really important. Um, I would say first and foremost, um, get to know our small business office here locally and across the enterprise. Right, we have a we have a office of small business programs whose job is to help new entrants get informed and to help them along that process of how to do business with the government. Um, it's not just targeted at small business either. It's it's really open to small and large companies. It's open to universities. It's open to academia. Right. So, getting to know the people at the center that you're interested. Relationships matter. So. We do lots of events locally, you know, whether it's industry forums or we have um, we have a, a small business council, for example, where a lot of local small businesses in this aerospace community convene to help the community be successful and help NASA be successful. So getting plugged into that small business council to build those relationships because the, the, the reality of, of getting new entrants into the Johnson Space Center procurement portfolio is we've got a lot of really big contracts. I said we spent $4.7 billion almost through procurement last year. A lot of those are um, longer term systems development, right, contracts. So there's lots of opportunities as subcontractors, right? That's, that's always advice is get to know your Get to know the companies that have prime contracts, build relationships with those individuals. And a lot of times you start as a subcontractor under a prime to get to know how to do the business effectively. Um, and then you grow from there, right? And then maybe you look to go chase a prime opportunity in the future. But it all starts with relationships. And we've got a lot of resources here to help those relationships, those connections be made.